Okay, apparently I forgot to film this book. So hi guys, Dane here and welcome to my May 2020-24, I think that was too many 20s, uh, book haul. Pass Dane, over to you. Dane reads. Hello everybody, just a couple of books to haul, e hoo e hoo I don't even remember where I got, oh I got these from um, uh, the like charity book exchange at my bank. Uh, so I got The Day the Screens Went Blank by Danny Wallace, illustrated by Gemma Coral. Um, I just enjoyed Danny Wallace. Little kid's book, won't take me long to get through this. And then I picked up A Promised Land by Barack Obama. And I'm not going to lie, I will probably end up listening to the audiobook of this, especially if it's uh, narrated by Obama himself. We will see. Um, but I've read his other books, and I've read Michelle's book, so I feel like I should probably read this one, which I guess is his newest. So that's what I got. Hello, super quick one. I got a book in the post today. 3001, The Final Odyssey by Arthur C. Clarke. Should be very exciting as I've read all of the other Odyssey books. Um, yeah, cool. Does sound kind of, kind of creepy. The body of Frank Poole, lost for a thousand years since the computer Hal caused his death en route to Jupiter, is retrieved, revived and enhanced in the most eagerly awaited sequel of all time press X to doubt, the terrifying truth of the monolith's mission is a mystery only Paul can resolve. I reckon the most eagerly awaited sequel of all time has probably been uh, the last Harry Potter book, personally. There's probably something else that I'm not thinking of, but that comes to mind. Alrighty guys, just a few books to haul for you today. Um, I went out for my long run earlier, I was doing a half marathon distance in aid of Cat Protection, Team Cats, so I get a very shiny medal for that. Um, and while I was out, I came across this place. Actually, I, I guess I'm gonna show you on my camera. I've got it up on Facebook. It's facebook.com forward slash Zoe's Bookshop. And yeah, it's literally like a little bookshop outside somebody's house. And they have all these books in there. And so I picked up a few and then uh, sent them a few quid via PayPal. She's raising money to uh, go to, okay. She's doing a world challenge, I guess. It looks like previously she went to Tanzania and now she's going to Malaysia. So, uh, yeah. Sent her a few quid towards her flights to Malaysia. Um, and I picked up, I got um, The Girl Who Saved Christmas by Matt Haig. Um, I've been reading, well, all of these are by authors. I've been reading all of their stuff. Uh, I got Roald Dahl's Whiz Popping Joke Book. Uh, I'm gonna do a joke. Shay, are you ready for a joke? Yeah. Why did the lamb cross the road? Why? To get to the barber shop. Wow. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10, awesome. Uh, and I got Race, for the, Race the Wind by Lauren St. John. Um, I've just read some of her books in the past. They're always fun, they're like animal based. So uh, this is the second book in the best-selling One Dollar Horse trilogy. I think I did read the first book a while back, so that's kind of cool. Uh, and actually the reason I even know who she is and read her stuff is it was the first time an author contacted me through my book blog to ask for an author interview back in like 2013 or something. And I've just, you know, it was nice to chat to her and nice of her to take the time, especially as like a traditionally published author, to, uh, to chat to me. So I've been reading her books ever since. Biggie, what are you, what are you doing? You know you're in the shot, right? Yeah? All right, okay. Biggie says hi. Hello and greetings. Um, I am back from Tamworth where I went to visit my mum. And I, I scooped up a few books from the cheeky charity shops while I was there. I actually have two sets, but the second half of the haul will be, um, is gonna go into my, um, well, what month is it? June haul. And I may get some for my birthday, who knows. But anyway, the ones I have to show you today, we have Born to Run by Christopher R. McDougall. Um, so yeah, he just goes and finds some distance runners. Apparently it's uh, a classic amongst the running community. So two different running friends both commented and saying it said it was very good. So I'm excited to get to that. I've got Just Ignore Him by Alan Davis. So this is like the memoir of, um, he's a British actor slash comic, I guess. Um, I mostly know him as being like the perpetual, um, like permanent fixture on the BBC TV show QI, which is, um, There is a notification for Dane. Hello. Um, which is like a kind of, kind of like a panel show, but I don't know. You, you either know it or you don't, but anyway. Um, he also played, uh, ooh. 
Not Morse. Uh, Jonathan Creek, that's who he played. Um, so he played a TV detective as well, but that should be really interesting. Uh, Alan Davis seems like a cool dude. Uh, then we have Arthur C. Clarke, the ghost from the Grand Banks. Now I'm slowly working my way through all of the Arthur C. Clarke. Um, and so it was quite a pleasant surprise to find one in a charity shop for a pound, which is one of like the half dozen or so that I haven't read. I've read the rest of them. I don't know too much about it, otherwise, other than that it says an environment more alien than deep space. Um, I guess it's down beneath the water. Oh, it's set around the centennial uh, of the sinking of the Titanic. Uh, then we have Norse Mythology by Neil Gaiman, pretty much self-explanatory, a book of Norse Mythology by Neil Gaiman. I find Gaiman to be pretty hit and miss to be honest, but I think his take on Norse Mythology should should be my kind of jam. And then I've got Atom Bomb Angel by Peter James, um, so this is one of his older books, uh, let's see, first published in 1982, now reissued for the first time, so we will see if it holds up well or not. So that's my little stack for there. And that is it for the month of May. So as always, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books and if so, what you thought of them. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit that subscribe button for more. And I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.